cocking the quick release chuck and installing a bit. The quick release chuck must be cocked in order to install a bit. To cock the chuck, lift the safety cover and press up on the chuck release flange located on the cap and release. The cap will rotate slightly in the counterclockwise direction and will remain up when the chuck is prepared to receive the bit assembly. Anytime difficulty is encountered inserting a bit and adapter, simply pull up on the flange to ensure that the chuck is cocked. Dust can sometimes prevent the quick release chuck from cocking properly. Clean periodically with compressed air and lubricate with a light coat of machine oil. If you are unable to cock by pulling up on the flange, insert a finger into the bottom of the quick release chuck, then twist the plastic cap. This should free the cap and allow insertion of the bit. Holding the bit in two fingers, Insert the adapter into the chuck, feeling for where the adapter set screws fit into the slots in the chuck. When properly placed, the chuck will release and snap down over the adapter. It is recommended to guide the chuck down with the slight rotation of the mechanism to feel that it is engaging the bit properly. Grab the shank of the bit and make sure that there is no play at all in the bit. Be careful not to cut yourself on the bit. If there is any movement or doubt, reinsert the bit to prevent damage to your project or machine. Improper installation of the bit may cause poor performance or damage to your machine. Close the cover and press the enter button. The machine will then proceed to measure the bit and process the selected task. Be sure to insert the bit requested. Damage to the workpiece and or damage to the Carverite machine may result from installing the incorrect bit. Inspect your bits and bit adapters regularly. Replace any dented or damaged bit adapters and chipped bits. Do not leave bits in the quick change adapter when not in use. Rust can form and bond the adapter to the quick change if left installed for an extended period of time.